you, Ron. New at four, there are several pressing issues in the hands of the Memphis City Council. To help you understand what is happening in the Bluff City, we invited Memphis City Council Chairman Martavius Jones to join us live in studio today. He is with Kim right now, so Kim and Martavius, take it away. Thank you very much, Joyce. First of all, thank you so much for joining us, Chairman. Thank Jones. you for having me. We really me. appreciate it. Let's start with um, the uh, uh, Memphis 901 FC Stadium. Uh, what, where does that project stand right now? What's happening with it? Well, that's part of the overall ask mm -hmm. and what we've received from the state, 360 some odd million mm -hmm. dollars. So the proposal, original proposal by the administration was to place it where the Mid-South Coliseum is. Right. So I don't know if, it's, if that money is contingent upon us really following through with those plans. I've met with some people, you know, we, the, the Save the Coliseum mm -hmm. Consortium, and I think that we're, they probably want us to have additional discussions about the 901 FC Stadium being there. But I've gone to a soccer game at Redbird Stadium. It's a fantastic audience to be I've there. I've heard it is, yes. I think that they deserve their own venue, so I'm, op I'm uh, looking forward to the discussions about it. Right. I'm, I'm interested. Um, how does this effort compare to what officials in Nashville had to go through um, to get the Titans Stadium built? Is it different for Memphis? And if so, why? It's probably the same. Okay. But, but, but one of the things I want people to still realize, Memphis, Nashville, Chattanooga, Knoxville, we are the income generators for the state. Mm -hmm. So when we ask for 360, 500 million dollars we're really just asking back for money that we generate right. here you know, so I, you know, I it was a similar effort but i think that uh nashville's ask was much greater than ours half a billion dollars right. ours was a little bit substantially less but you know my opinion we're just asking back for what we've given the state <laughs> to begin with right right <laughs> so um tennessee lawmakers just voted to disband community oversight boards and in memphis that's CLERB basically um for police departments what happens now um, with our efforts to uh, for policing ordinances directly affected uh, or, or focusing on CLERB weather? Where does where where all that stand? It is my understanding that that responsibility will be internally within the Memphis Police Department okay. versus having independent citizens to stand and serve as watchdogs. So I'm disappointed that it happened this way. I understand that some Shelby County delegation members mm -hmm. stood up for it and advocated. And this really doesn't affect a lot of cities here in Tennessee, but at least listen to those who are closest to the cities where it's being affected. So I'm disappointed that the General Assembly didn't do that. Okay, and Memphis Mayor Jim Strickland um, said the city will begin enforcing a curfew for kids downtown and more details will be shared in May. Then there's the mayor's statement that came after the juvenile abatement uh, program was halted. What will the city council be discussing um, surrounding curfews? And isn't there already a curfew for kids? There is, but before we have that discussion, I go back to when I was growing up here, you mm -hmm. know, eons ago when we had dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> but we had activities for children. Right? I've asked that the parks director bring us a very ambitious, robust budget. Let's give children activities to do. Is it going to be something that solves the problem immediately? No, but we need to have a continuous path of providing activities for children, mm -hmm. outlets for children, and I don't think that we'd be looking at such a, uh, such a dire curfew need if we provide some of those outlets. But, you know, we, we still have to address the problem today, but I think we need to operate on parallel paths to do both. Do you think we can get the money to do those programs that you're talking about? I remember, I remember when midnight basketball was a thing mm -hmm. and when it shut down. Well, I, a, a few years ago, we had something at the community centers mm -hmm. that I learned about based upon what was taking place in New Jersey. From roughly five o'clock to midnight, mm -hmm. you had the community centers active. Right. Uh, we need to have the funding. We need to provide outlets like that for children and be creative Give them, if we don't want them on Bill Street, provide someplace else for them to go. Let them stay uh, in our community centers, have programming for them there. So I'm hoping that we can have those discussions during this budget season. Give them something more than just a no. Indeed. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Chairman Jones, appreciate you, Thank you for having joining me us today. Again. Joyce?